Today we're learning how to solve rounding word problems. I'm thinking about this problem. 382 people attended the school carnival. Round to the nearest 10 to estimate how many people came. The problem tells me that 382 people came, so I'm going to focus on that number. Then it tells me to round to the nearest 10. That means I'm trying to figure out if I'm rounding down to 380 or up to 390. To do that, I'm going to circle the tens place because that's what I'm rounding to. Next, I want to look at the place value spot to the right, in this case, the ones place. I'll underline it to help me. I know that if the underlined number is four or less, I round down and the circled digit stays the same. If the underlined digit is five or more, it means I round up and I add one to the circled digit. In 382, the underlined digit is two, which is less than five. That means that the circled digit stays the same. Last, all the digits to the right of the circled digit become zeros. When rounded to the nearest 10, 382 rounds down to 380. This means that about 380 people came to the school carnival. There are 613 students at Kyla's school. About how many hundreds of students go to her school? The problem tells us that there are 613 students at her school, so we'll focus on that number. Then it asks about how many hundreds of students. This tells us we're rounding to the nearest hundred. We're trying to figure out if 613 is closer to 600 or 700. Our first step is to circle the hundreds place. What digit should we circle? Six is in the hundreds place, so we'll circle the six. Then we underline the place value to the right, the tens. Next, we look at the underlined digit to decide if we're rounding up or down. Is the underlined digit more or less than 5? The underlined digit is 1, which is less than 5, so we'll round down. What do we do to the circled digit? Because we're rounding down, the circled digit stays the same. Now we can round our number. What is 613 rounded to the nearest 100? The 6 stays the same. Then we turn all the digits to the right into zeros. 613 rounds down to 600. This means that there are about 600 students that go to Kyla's school. Megan jumped rope 147 times in gym class. Round to the nearest 10 to estimate about how many times she jumped. The problem tells us that she jumped 147 times, so we'll focus on that number. It tells us we're rounding to the nearest 10, so we're trying to figure out if 147 is closer to 140 or 150. Since we want to round to the nearest 10, what digit should we circle? We'll circle the 4 in the tens place. Then we underline the place value to the right, the ones. Next, we look at the underlined digit to decide if we're rounding up or down. Is the underlined digit more or less than 5? The underlined digit is 7, which means we round up. What do we do to the circled digit? Because we're rounding up, we add 1 to the circled digit. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now we can round our number. What is 147 rounded to the nearest 10? We know we have 105 tens. Then we turn all the digits to the right into zeros. 147 rounds up to 150. That means that Megan jumped about 150 times. Jack lives 374 miles from his grandparents. To the nearest 10, about how many miles does he live from them? The problem tells you that you're rounding to the nearest 10. You circle the tens place and then underline the ones place. Then you look at the underlined digit. Four is less than five, so the circled number, seven, stays the same. 
Then you turn all the digits to the right into zeros. When rounded to the nearest 10, 374 rounds down to 370. Jack lives about 370 miles from his grandparents. Calvin has read 286 books. About how many hundreds of books has he read? The problem tells you that you're rounding to the nearest hundred. You circle the hundreds place and underline the tens place. Then you look at the underlined digit. Eight is more than five, so you add one to the circled number. Two plus one is three. Then you turn all the digits to the right into zeros. When rounded to the nearest hundred, 286 rounds up to 300. Kelvin has read about 300 books. Great job! Now you know how to solve rounding word problems.